It's interesting. Uh, I go back 38 years, and uh, my son uh, was being breastfed, and he was crying and colicky. And I suggested to my wife at that time, I said, you know, maybe it's the milk you're drinking that's somehow going through, you know, your <laughs> breast milk and affecting him. And she looked at me and says, oh, that can't be. It's, it's, it's impossible. So I took her to Dr. Paul Fleiss, pediatrician, USC, UCLA professor. Uh, and I said, you know, is this possible? Because my son, he's crying all day. And he looked at her and he goes, yep, you've got to stop drinking milk. And she looked at him like, what? And she stopped and his caulk went completely away. Wow, so, so the mother's diet, and let alone they're part of their body when, when they're going through the whole embryo phase. So there's a number of things that are coming into the body and we need to learn to detoxify, we need to use a metabolic code. Tell me about how do we help these people because we're all uh, you know, at risk and all having challenges at various times during life and as we get older, it's not getting better, it's becoming more difficult, isn't it? Oh, I think it is. I think it's getting difficult because not only with age, but with the environment, right? As we look at the right. amount of environmental contaminants, uh, whether you look at pesticide sprays, herbicide sprays, you know, these chemicals are continuing to, you know, grow exponentially in our environment and our exposure. And so it, it certainly becomes important for us to understand it, not just for us as we're aging, but, you know, for younger people as well, they're going to have to participate in understanding about their health uh, because this, this issue isn't going to go away any, anytime soon. It's, it's a beautiful, flowery thing to think about the evil of pesticides. And, and I'm obviously very much pro-organic, understand GMOs and right. get that, but there's a part of the real world that we have to say, what are we dealing with today? Right. So what are some key things you can do? The first thing I think is so important is a lot of people have gone paleo today, right? It's a paleo yeah. diet, right? Right, right. At which it makes sense for people to go on a low carbohydrate, low refined sugar diet because our insulin receptors are so stressed out. But the issue is, is that you still need that resistant starch. So right. I, I think it's really important that people every day understand the value mm -hmm. of prebiotics, mm -hmm. resistant starch, mm -hmm. and taking beneficial flora is a way to guard against the microbiome and the immune system getting disrupted. So there's an easy one right away. And you don't have to just take that in a pill. You can eat fermented foods, right? You can mm -hmm. eat sauerkraut. You can eat other fermented vegetables. Um, kimchi. Kimchi. It was just a great thinking. way to go, right? <laughs> right. And, and so, but you can think of strategies that you can incorporate into your lifestyle. Exercise improves the microbiome if you don't over-exercise, right? So there's people that overtrain mm -hmm. and then they compromise their immune system. So I usually tell people, you know, for the average person, if you're not going to be competing, mm -hmm. why don't you try 45 minutes, four or five times a week, get your heart rate up to about 60%, maybe peak to 70%, mm -hmm. add some high intensity in with it. And, and that's the type of training that actually has been shown to be beneficial to regulating immunity, creating an immune homeostasis. So I like that. And right. I, I like getting people to understand the value of fiber and the value of prebiotics and the value of probiotics. And then once you get past that, how do, else do we help people? Well, we need to find and figure out where is that individual's system at a break point? Meaning where's the weak link? You know, mm -hmm. you've been doing this a long time and you know that mm -hmm. somebody comes in, you, you listen to them for 15 minutes, you can go, oh, I got it, right? Mm -hmm. I, I understand that we need to work on their gut first. They're a food allergy person and we gotta work with that. Or mm -hmm. it's a cortisol driven person mm -hmm. who's got low thyroid and so now they're tired and they're sluggish and they're stressed out and their blood sugar's off so they're gaining weight and they don't know why. Right. Oh wait, that's that type of a person. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they combine and have both kind of groups of issues, both cellular energy is disturbed right. and their immune system is disturbed. And you know, that's most people, right? I mean, they're, that, that's where they're at, especially once they get past the age of 50. So it takes a lot of retrenching, right? A lot of work, right, right foods and uh, right decisions about your chemistry.